Hi, welcome. Hello. To TFL Table Talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was waiting on him. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing well. We're happy to be here with y'all today. Yeah. Been pretty rainy this oh, last week. It's been real gloomy. Yeah. And a lot of rain. So, and it seems like this area gets a lot of rain this time of year, mm -hmm. you know. So, well, they say the old timers in this area say anyway, if they don't get the moisture in snowfall, then they have to have it in rain in the spring. So, and we didn't have a lot of snow this year. No, there wasn't. So, um, I guess we're getting it in rain. Creeks are flooded and everybody's pastures are soaked. We can't get in the garden. So, yeah, you usually get, uh, you know, you can get four feet sitting on the ground of snow, but you didn't even get close no. to it. We didn't get four inches sitting on the ground. Not so, at any one time. We sure didn't. No. Not much snow in these mountains. Uh, so we didn't get uh, much done in the garden. We still got the plants banked and keeping them protected right now from the chickens that free range because they'll get in there and destroy those little potato uh, tomato plants so they did scratch up the carrot seeds before we could <laughs> before we could yeah. get the hog panel up around it so but that's okay we had more yeah um the last uh, group of chickens are in the grow out coop and the other ones are starting to free range with the other older chickens so oh and the the little roos we have three roos and um our daughter wants one so we'll give uh, her one because a snake got one of hers and got her rooster and then the other two we will um cull them and process uh can their meat uh, but they're they're starting to crow <laughs> and the other morning I, we heard it he was getting he was outside early it was like 5 30 or so and we were like, what in the world? Something's wrong with the chicken coop. So Thor takes off, and then we realized that it was the little roos trying, mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to crow, and it sounded like something was eating them. So that's fun. That's always fun. Yep. When they're doing it. I had some, you know, good food, uh, farm fresh eggs, uh, farm fresh bacon, sausage, mm -hmm. hamburger this week, of course, um, homemade einkorn biscuits. That's kind of a staple, you know, in the morning. So mm -hmm. that was, uh, did some dehydrating in the Excalibur. Um, it's uh, probably the best dehydrator. You know, you really can get their, they do a really good job. Mm -hmm. Bought a couple pineapples to dehydrate because we like dehydrated pineapples. Oh, they're so sweet. Yeah. So yeah. good. Dehydrating food is a, is a great way to preserve some foods so other than that um not much on tfl you got a post up the common tomato pest diseases and diseases and pests uh because i've gotten some questions about that i did that post and then um, a lot of it was just behind the scenes this was a technical technically challenging week so what week is it this is true this is true but but you know some weeks are better than others so we'll see <laughs> yeah more pins you know on pinterest uh new youtube videos um let's see uh oh don't forget to um did we put the link for the chick cozy incubator in last week's YouTube? it's in the private telegram group and i i don't think it went in the in in the, the I think I video. forgot to put okay. it in the table talk video. So be sure to enter the contest. We will do our best <laughs> to put the link in the description so you can go over to that Chick Cozy Incubator post. Leave a comment. You can say anything you want about incubators or you can just say enter me to win. And uh, June the 1st, we're having the drawing to give away the incubator. Yep. So I'm going to give that away to somebody. So. I hope it uh, goes to somebody that will get some good use out of it on their homestead. Yes. Um, other than that, uh, ask uh, Oscar. Um, some That's people used week. it. So yeah. you were going to say. Uh, okay. Let's talk about Oscar. Because I've got a lot of different responses this week. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, actually. But 
he does not run on the internet so you cannot just go on there and ask him you know um why is the sky blue he only runs on our articles our books our videos that's the information he pulls from um and whenever you ask a question of him that he cannot answer one question that strikes my mind this week was um how to plant elderberry bushes i don't have an article on elderberry bushes we're working on getting those articles and, and getting that information fed into him but that's a process so whenever you ask a question and he doesn't have the answer for you he sends me an email and he says somebody asked this question i don't have the answer and that cues us to know that we need to put that information on the blog uh, in a video um, in a book we need to address those issues so some questions that people have asked um i'm never going to cover <laughs> <laughs> they're not they're not homesteading related or they're just i guess people just playing around with it you know asking odd questions <laughs> so um anyway that's how oscar works and um hey remember he's new and so yeah. it's just a uh computer that's running and he only knows what we have uploaded so you know if you ask him uh what uh, jason's favorite color is if we've never told him he doesn't know so he's focused on homesteading homesteading related things uh chickens gardening um einkorn recipes of different kinds healthy the living land. those yeah. everything that's on the blog yep everything in our life everything we yeah. you know that we do we think it's beneficial you know we try to you know put yeah. that out there yeah. so people can learn and uh live a better lifestyle yeah yeah to help you on your journey yeah so um you know as far as uh, we usually go over uh something we do to help that's health you know health, health. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah health so helps. yeah um i'd say one thing that uh seems to have helped us is if you're going to have a meal that is a big carb meal you know a pasta um pizza yeah pizza or something like that something that's helped us is take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar now the apple cider vinegar that we use the brand we use is uh tw what is that uh 25 percent it even has our little shot glass on it <laughs> so we can measure a tablespoon fair childs it yeah. is 25 percent acidity yeah. it's the only one we found that's when it's that is still 25 percent of acidity years ago bragg's was yeah we when used we to use bragg's use, and then the i think the kids took over the company and uh now you're paying the same price uh, for a 25 percent fairchild or a bragg's and bragg's only has what five percent now yes, acidity so i mean you've got to use a lot more of it to get the same effect so we switched uh bragg's was great years ago when the parents owned it but uh now things have changed so now we switched to fairchild's but we use that a uh, tablespoon of that uh, right before we eat a high carb meal um, helps uh, you know your body process the meal and uh, it's supposed to help you know shuttle not shuttle those uh, extra calories I guess when say if you get uh, a meal that mixes your sugars and fats then your body's gonna burn the sugar for energy and it's going to or it's going to store more fat um so apple cider vinegar helps with the digestion and stuff seems to help us it moves the fat on through stops yeah. the absorption some so so that's something that's helped us that um you know if you have digestive issues is something that you might want to try yep Other short one that? this week yeah. guys not a lot going on yeah <laughs> Well, next week we'll probably, um, you know, get some garden work done. Hopefully at the rain, we're supposed to get, it's rain today. Uh, it's getting ready to rain again. 
and it's uh, gonna rain tomorrow <laughs> so we might if you know you just do what you can do right it's just the way this life is it yeah. totally totally depends on the weather so <laughs> We we'll yep. get it when we get it. You got to live one day at a time. And, you know, you can't sweat the small stuff. So, you know, if we don't get something done, um, you know, we just, uh, we do our best. It's in God's hands. We do what we can with the ability we have. And uh, sometimes you got to get out in the rain and do the work. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's just uh, the animals, uh, something's happened. I mean, you've got to get out there and do it. But... Rain, sleet, snow, ice, just is what it is. The old saying, make hay while the sun's shining. Yeah, yep. That's that's true in this lifestyle. Or John Wayne, burning daylight. <laughs> is that John Wayne? <laughs> yeah, that's John Wayne. <laughs> well, <in> the <laughs> well, we hope that uh, you have a good week, and we'd love to hear from you. And if there's anything we can do, just uh, send us an email or leave a comment. We hope you have a blessed week. No, until next time. Yeah, you're supposed to say that. <laughs> okay, you say that, then I'll do mine. <laughs> until next time. Safe and happy journey. <laughs>